<clears throat> this is the book of Sirach, chapter 21, verse 1. My son, has thou sinned? Do so no more, but ask pardon for thy former sins. Flee from sin as the face of a serpent. For if thou comest too near, it will bite thee. The teeth thereof are as the teeth of a lion, slaying the souls of men. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of great millstone, teaching us his truth according to the Bible and the well. And thou shalt one all the sincere Aki on the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth through diligence and sincerity and charity. And thou shalt one all the sincere followers, believers of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, not just hears of the word, but doers as well, you men, women, and children of hope for elect, Shalom. Back with another lesson through the Spirit and power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Lord, one's lessons edifying. <clears throat> and it's going to be on fleeing from the face, fleeing from sin, all right? And it made me think about the account of um, one of our forefathers, Joseph, all right? And when, when sin, when he was met with uh, a great sin, all right, he fleed from it, okay? And in times that we're living in uh, as Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and Israelite foreigners, we need to be fleeing from sin, okay, and turning back to the Heavenly Father. And like the scriptures say, one of my favorite verses, man, Romans 15 and 4, the things that were written the fourth time were written for our learning, okay, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. And our hope uh, relies in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai delivering us, man. But you got to have this wisdom, knowledge, or understanding in order to have a chance. All right? So let's read it again. This is Sirach 21 and 1. It says, My son, is thou sin. Now, one got to ask thyself, what is sin? Let's get that, you know, for the newcomers. All right, let's go to 1 John. Um, I believe it's 3 and 4. Yeah, this is the book of 1 John, <clears throat> chapter 3, verse 4. It says, it says, whosoever commit of sin, right? That's what we're talking about, sin. It says, transgressive also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Now, who was the law given to? The law was given to the nation of Israel. And by process of elimination, when you read the scriptures, when you read the prophecies of what will befall the Israelites, it's referring to the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Wherever we have been scattered according to the sea line of your father. All right. Your father determines the nationality of the child when you read that in the book of Numbers, the first chapter, around the 18th verse. All right, so now we know that sinning is transgressing the ways of the Lord, okay, going against his standard, what he has set up, okay? Let's go back to Sirach 21 and 1. It says, my son, has thou sinned, right? Have you transgressed my ways? Do so no more, but ask pardon for thy former sins. Ask for forgiveness, right? Going back to Acts 3 and 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted. Right? That's what, the, that's what the Lord wants us to do. This is the book of Acts chapter 3 verse 19. It says, Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. That's right. The Lord said, what, what did the Lord say? Sirach 21 and and uh, one, it says, but ask pardon for thy former sins. All right. You ask and then you put it into action. Right. You don't you don't sin no more to the best of your ability. OK. Acts 3 and 19. It says, repent, turn back to heavenly father. Ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. <clears throat> yeah, because you don't want to you don't want the Lord to come back. And you haven't you haven't repented for all your wrongful thoughts, sayings, and doings. Okay. So back in Sirach 21 and 2 it says, flee from sin. 
as from the face of a serpent. Right. So if you uh, a, a serpent happens happens to jump in your face, you, you you're not gonna sit there and uh, uh, uh and, and you know kiss the serpent or play with the serpent. You'll get far uh, uh, hell away from that snake. Right. It says for if it come comes too near to near it, it will bite the the teeth thereof, or as the teeth of a lion slaying the souls of men. So you're gonna <coughs> the Lord's gonna judge you. Okay, <coughs> the Lord's gonna judge you. And according to Romans the sixth chapter, around the twenty third verse, the the wages of sin is death. So you get too close, you rack up too much sins, too many sins, too much iniquity. The Lord's going to require that soul back into the spirit world. All right. <clears throat> so let's get into this quick little uh, less. Um, well, that's not get into this quick story about what, what Joseph did when he was uh, faced when, um, you know, sin was kind of knocking at his door. <clears throat> All right. This is. Uh, uh, Genesis 39. I've started. Uh, I'll start it on. <clears throat> I'll start at seven. It says, and it came to pass, get to the point, after these things that his master's wife, right? Joseph's master was who? Pharaoh. Okay. He became Pharaoh's second hand man, man. All right. Shows you the power of the Lord, how the Lord command. <laughs> Joseph was on his deathbed. All right. After being betrayed by his brothers. <clears throat> but it says, um, verse 7, Genesis 39 and 7, it says, And it came to pass after these things that his master's wife, so Pharaoh's wife, cast her eyes upon Joseph, and she said, Lie with me. Right? <clears throat> and, you know, the scriptures, when it says lie with me, it's talking sexually. It's talking about getting it in, going to pound town. <laughs> right? That's what, that's what she wanted Joseph to do. <clears throat> it says, But he refused and said unto his master's wife, Behold, my master wrought of not with wrought of not what is with with me in thy house, and have committed all that he have to my hand. It says, There was no greater in the house in this house than I, neither have he kept back anything from me but thee, because thou art his wife. How then can I do this great wickedness and sin against Yahweh? All right. <clears throat> For you newcomers, when you see God there, God is just a title. Okay. The true name of the of the uh, of God or the Most High or the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. In ancient Hebrew, the Lashawan Kodash, Yahweh. He is, he exists. Okay. <clears throat> And Joseph had respect unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and, and kept his ways to the best of his ability. Okay? Let's read that part again. Verse 9. It says, Genesis 39 and 9, There is none greater in this house than I, neither have he kept back anything from me but thee. Right? Gave Joseph all types of power, okay, rulership, all right, within his uh, kingdom. But he didn't give him his wife. It says, thou art his wife. How then can I do this great wickedness? Because that is a great wickedness, man. And a lot of our people, a lot of you Israelites, you take pride in taking the next man's woman. Well, that's, that's, that's uh, wickedness in the eyes of the Lord, man. Let's get that. Let's get that. We're going to come right on back. The next couple of books over. Let's go to, um, let's see here. Let's go to Leviticus. <clears throat> get one of these. Leviticus 18 and, um, and 20. It says, Moreover, thou shalt not lie carnally with thy neighbor's wife to defile thyself with her. Right. And when you go in that word carnally, it, it goes into uh, uh, sowing your seed. All right. Semen. 
All right, you plant your seed inside another man's field. That's disgusting. All right, <clears throat> that is disgusting. The heavenly Father is not with it. You know, you're not supposed to be covetous of, of what another man has. All right, but in the eyes of the Lord, that's it, that you're transgressing His ways. So when it's, when we open up with flee from sin, let's see what let's let's see what else Joseph did. Let's see what else Joseph did. Let's go back. Matter of fact, let's read Leviticus one more time. Leviticus 18 and 20 says, Moreover, thou shalt not lie carnally with thy neighbor's wife to defile thyself with her. Now, we know, um, now we know that, uh, you know, she was a, a heathen, right? I believe she was a heathen. But even, you know, even if she wasn't, okay, that's still a, 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 a Breaking the the, uh, the Lord's laws, man. Okay. Now let's go back. Let's go back to um, Genesis, Genesis thirty nine, and um, where we at? <sighs> go ahead and wrap this up. All right. It says, uh, verse nine again. It says, "How then can I do this great wickedness and sin against Yahweh?" Verse 10, it says, and it came to pass as he spake to, and it came to pass as she spake to Joseph day by day. So she was being thirsty. She, she, she was lusting after the Joseph, right? You know how Jake get, man. You know, Jake, you know, looking neat, smelling sweet. You know, we the salt of the earth. You know, got that walk with us, got that, you know, that swagger, right? She says she got to have some of that. But guess what? It says that he hearkened not unto her to lie by her or to be with her. He was avoiding her at all costs, man. It says, and it came to pass about this time that Joseph went into the house to do his business. And there was none of the men of the house there with them. All right. So, you know, Joseph, you know, pretty much he was, uh, I guess, going to use the bathroom. Right It says And she caught him by his garment Saying lie with me So she took matters in her own hands And and look, and look How many Jakes would have Would have tapped that Right I know a dude That I used to hang out with in the world Okay Who was hanging out one night And he was getting up with a, with a, with a, with a chick And um, he was telling me this Because you, know, we you know I went, we went our separate ways you know, he got with a chick after the night spot, and I went home. Okay, I believe I got me something to eat, and I went home. And, um, you know, you always uh, link up the next day and, t you know, what happened, bro, what happened? He's like, yeah, man, you know, before I got it in with her, you know, she called her man and woke her man up for work. And then as she got off the phone with him, we got it in. I was like, and I was like, like, damn, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? And um, he was like, I said, why'd you do it? He said, yeah, I don't know, man. Somebody could do it to my woman. Somebody could be doing it to me. And, you know, and Jake finds uh, 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 excuses for their wickedness, man. Let the scriptures say, uh, uh, um, how does it go? A, uh, a sinful man finding an excuse, roughly paraphrasing. All right. <clears throat> but that's, the, uh, that's something that Jake takes pride in. But what did Joseph do? It says, and she caught him by his garment, verse 12. Um, Genesis 39 and 12 and she caught him by his garment saying lie with me and he left his garment in her hand and fled and got him out mm-hmm let's see here oh, that's all I want I mean continue on reading the story but that that was just the point you know he fled from sin because he feared the how about Shemuel was shy and that's the mindset we should be in these latter days fearing your how about Shemuel was shy to the best of our ability, Aki and Aqua. All right, so that's pretty much it, man. Lord Williams, that's edifying. Next time I say, Shalom.